Hello, this is Chappa Jack, and we are about to play this game called Not. And as always, I have no idea what it's about. I just have high expectations for it. Whoa. Okay, so the la the mouse is to control the camera angle, and W A S D is to move around. Whoa, this is really trippy. Jesus. All right. There's a car. Can we go to the car? Oh, you can run too. Nice. Sit. How do you sit? Enter? Nope. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to sit. D drive. Yes, that's that's what I want to do. I want to go drive it. Oh, look at this. We have a car that we just somehow crashed already. Come on, come on, car. Yeah, let's go. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh shit! This is very difficult to control. I'm guessing that we're gonna go to that house over there. Let's book it. Highway speeds, boys. Oh, wow, we need to avoid some stuff. The artwork in this game is, is very strange. Oh, we almost busted that up here. I, I like it, though. It's kind of, it's simple, yet looks good. Uh, it, that's, whoa, this is tough to drive on the sand here. Very, very trippy, too. This would be a good game to play when you're high. Not that I've ever done that. Haha. <laughs> I actually haven't gotten high ever, surprisingly. I'm one of the few people that I know of that, guys especially, that hasn't done that. Okay, we crashed apparently. Le oh, there's an even nicer car. But what is this? Let's steal it. Draw. Oh, I get it. So this is what it would be like to maybe live on another planet. You'd always have to be in a spacesuit. They'll build a space station at the top of the hill. I can't wait to see that. Great. Me neither. Cool. Let's steal your car, though. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. We have to go to the... No! Sorry, I'm trying to dr jump over it, but that doesn't seem to be working. Oh, walk, 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 walk. Okay, and we are almost there. Now we can drive it. Beauty. Oh! It Whoa! Glitch! And um... Okay. I don't... There's a storm happening? Uh-oh. That's not good. Hopefully the storm doesn't kill us before we get into a car accident. Oh. I don't know where to go. Top of the hill? Oh, there's some more places that we have to go around here. So we're gonna go to the top of these mountains, I guess. Oh, Jesus. And this is really loud, too. I'd love to kind of drive on a different planet. The only... I think only two people have done that, right? On the Apollo missions? Two people have actually... Uh-oh. Oh, we can flip the car. Good. It's GTA physics. That's good to know. Yeah, how many people have driven the rover on the moon? I think it's two, correct? Let's see. Okay, we need to turn around here. We need to turn around. Beauty. Let's head off into the- Oh, fuck! Let's go up there. Okay, that rock definitely can't flip the entire car here. Alright, we're gonna... The controls for this are also extremely difficult for a game, but I, 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 it's good. Oh, did I just come from there? No, we want to go up the hill. We want to go up there. Let's go. It's nighttime. What does that mean? And we can just go right through that. That's good. Oh, watch out! Fuck! Man, this car is taking a beating. Can we, can we go up the hill? On the car? I, I, I don't know if we're going up in the hill or not. I don't think so. Oh! Oh! Whoa, I don't know what's happening. May, we may have to just get out and run. Yeah, we're gonna run. We're gonna run up the hill. We got this. This is kind of a cool angle. It looks like cinematic. You kind of get a below person uh, view here. I wonder what... Man, I really want to live on a different planet. I mean, I love Earth, obviously. Who wouldn't? It's a great place to live, I'd say, planet Earth. But I'd like to just see what it's like to go onto a different planet. 
I kind of just want to see what it's like to, to, I don't know, explore, I guess. I know that probably won't happen in my lifetime, going to different... We definitely won't be visiting other stars in my lifetime. Maybe not even my kids' lifetimes or my grandkids' lifetimes if I have those. But, uh, oh. Whoa. Who's this? You think it's funny? What? What's funny? Okay. Ah, look at that! I'm hovering over his head. Yeah. Suck it. Oh. Oh, nice! You can hover on the words. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um... I still don't know what the point of this game is, but we're just gonna keep looking around. How far did I fall? Not too far. So this game is also extremely glitchy. So far. Uh, there's no car around here, is there? Uh-oh. Lightning everywhere! Oh, run faster, man. Run faster. There's another house up here. There's a few houses up here. Oh, they're on the mountains off in the distance. Do we even run that far? Okay, so we are almost at those houses up there on the mountain. So, I'm fairly certain, just based on this gameplay, that this is a procedurally generated game, similar to the game coming out called No Man's Sky. And so, meaning that it's, it's an endless game, um, but there aren't any specific objectives, I'm guessing? And so this playthrough is just going to be a little bit of an exploration, I guess, of, uh... Of, of the map and, and what I saw. This is just a guess. It might not be procedurally generated, but just it, it very, very, very much seems like that. Also, I kind of noticed that based on how high this character jumps, he's probably on Mars. And just, you know, the red ground, he's on a planet similar to Mars, because I guess if you have one-third the gravity, but you, your muscles are still, uh, have the strength of what it would be like to be on Earth. I guess, what's Mars's gravity? Is it half of Earth's? 0.60% of Earths, 40% of Earths, I, I forget what it is. But yeah, I'd be interested to see how high someone can jump on Mars, because I know on the moon you can jump pretty high with with 200 pounds of uh, gear on your back. I remember those astronauts were jumping around feet, a couple feet in the air. And it's just, uh, I'd, be in, I'd always like to see how high I could jump on a different planet. And you know, a, well, how big could an, a rocky planet be, by the way? In terms of mass, like in gravity, because I know that the Jupiter might have a, a metallic rock core, but it's a gas planet for the most part, because its its entire um, its entire atmosphere is essentially gas, right? Um, yeah, I'm just curious. How big can a rocky planet be? Like three times the size of the Earth? So how much gravity would that be? Twice twice as much? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it's just a, um, it's really a, a curious thought here. So we have reached this house here that only took like 10 minutes to get here. And let's see what this bastard has to say. He's gonna probably rip on me. Oh, let's go down. I had a friend who always told sad stories. What has he become? Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh. Oh, we can jump on your house. Oh, wait, flip the car. Where's the car? Where is it? Oh, there... <laughs> There's the car. Nice, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Oh, wow. What is this game? <laughs> I think that... I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure we glitched it. Not certain, though. Oh, God. Yep, I, yep, don't, I, okay. Th this is totally happening right now. We're falling down an invisible mountain. Great. Oh, uh, okay, if I get out, are we gonna die? Oh, we're back on the ground somehow. Wow, so this game has, it still obviously has some bugs. Let's, but now we have a car, so we can, uh, Wow, the car can't even drive anyway, can it? 
Oh, Jesus. This is such a difficult game. And apparently you can drive on your side, so that's good. Oh, look at this! Look at these tricks! I'm like the BMX of, of old shitty Mar Martian cars. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, are we stuck? No, we're not. We're not stuck! We're just glitched. Oh, look at those tricks. Alright, let's go. I think it's actually easier to control the car driving upside down than, uh, than normally. Oh, no, you had to go fucking flip it. See, now I'm gonna have... I'm gonna. It's gonna be so hard to control this now. Thanks. Alright, let's go full speed here. And we're definitely gonna crash into something. Like that. But we avoided a horrible crash. That's good. Oh, another crash. Okay, and avoid those things. Great. This is like me driving like Sunday mornings when I'm super tired. That's pretty much how I drive on the highway. Yep, just do some backflips and uh, keep going. Nothing to see here. Oh, yeah, man, I've all... I, this video is going to be mainly me talking about space and, and science and stuff, but it's a big part of my life. I just... I think that when will this become a reality? You know, when will we be able to build up bases on another planet? Uh, it's it's something that I always like to, to think about. And... Oh, fuck. And I actually heard today that the U.S. officially approved the first private company to travel to the moon. And uh, most likely, excuse me, build up um, some sort of mining camp. But I still don't see how it's um, profitable for a company to to mine on the moon yet because the fuel to get to the moon and back to bring the rocks back right now I still think costs more than uh yeah I still think it costs more than the rock itself would now saying that if you were to mine moon rock people may pay a little bit extra because it's fucking moon rock they might want to say hey I built my countertop out of out of the moon right that would actually be pretty cool. That should be a company, actually. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're not looking to uh, use the moon rocks for any... Oh, we're stuck here. Maybe they're not looking to use the moon rock for anything, uh, like, normal, right? Maybe they're looking it to be, like, some sort of high-end product. Okay, let's get out here. Let's see what's up the hill. Da -da 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 -da. The music for this game is uh, it's very uplifting. Oh, and that's a glitch. So this is a, for a game that's like 8 megabytes in size, this is, this is, oh, this is like, pretty good. I know it's similar to N64 graphics, if not a little bit worse, but still, considering that this is procedurally generated, created by like three people, this is a pretty cool game. I like it. And I, I hope that No Man's Sky um, is just a professional version of, of what this is. No Man's Sky, you can go to different planets and stuff like that. Oh, shit, that's a big drop. Let's jump down. Oh, no. Let's steal this guy's car now. I wonder uh, who's here. Hey, buddy. I would like to light a big fire and dance around with my friends. Unfortunately, they're all dead. All right. Let's uh, ignore that guy. Fuck him. Okay, let's, yep, we, we got the quote. And how did we just jump the physics in this game? <laughs> I don't understand the physics in this game right now. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, we're on a mountain, that makes sense. Ooh, a blue car. Let's steal it. Let's go. So, you can also tell that this is procedurally generated based on where the cars spawn. We've already had a car spawn on top of a house, and this one just spawned on a place where it's, like, undrivable. Alright, let's back up, I think, if we can. And I think that this car is stuck. Fuck. Okay. And there's the car again. Let's get up there. Oh, nice, we're driving now. Good. I think. Oh, and we just stopped randomly. No. I don't know where, if we're even moving. I don't think we are. Oh. Nope. We are, we are stuck. Okay. 
And now the car gets into a better place. Great! Great, great, great. Oh, the physics in this game are so bad. But it's spacey, so I like it. Alright, we're giving up on this fucking car. Let's see if we can find something else to do before uh, before we call this a, a quit. This is more of a me ranting about space podcast than any, or game than anything. It's not even a podcast. I stopped my podcast a long time ago, actually. I missed the podcast. Maybe I should make more where I just talk about space randomly. That was fun. Wow, I cannot see anything. Oh my god. Alright, let's make the jumps. Beautiful, now I can see stuff. This is good. We're getting back to normal here. Alright, if there's no fucking car in the next minute or two, then I'm probably just going to end this gameplay. But I'll talk about space for a little bit more, I guess. So, I know that there's a lot of private space companies, you know, there's SpaceX and Virgin Galactic, they're space companies, they're private ones. Although Virgin Galactic, I heard that they might have shut down because someone died in their test, test stage or something like that. I don't know if they're still going or not. But, you know, if I ever become a big entrepreneur business person, which I hope I do, I, I hope that uh, I, I can eventually um, build a kind of a, a space company. I've always wanted to go to space. I would need a, a super safe rocket, because I, I wouldn't trust... Man, I, I don't even know if I would trust NASA's rockets. I know that they've um, succeeded with all of their launches, up and except for two, right? They messed up their Challenger, and um, I forget what the other one was, the other horrible accident. And they also had some malfunctions, like on some of the Apollo missions. But for the most part, they've had pretty safe uh, space shuttles. I still don't know if I'd take theirs. I think I'd like to to know who is building my shuttle into space where I may or may not die. By the way, did you know that I don't think that you're allowed to, based on the radiation you receive when you're in space, actually, here's some science stuff. So when you're in space, you receive lots more radiation than you do on Earth because on Earth, what happens is radiation comes from the sun and we have kilometers of atmosphere that deflect and block out and absorb the radiation. And so by the time the radiation gets to the ground, we're usually okay. And we don't really, apart from, you know, having our skin get a little bit tanned or burnt, uh, we, we don't have any long-term effects for the most part. If you go into space, you get so much radiation within a few months span, maybe a few weeks span if you're only there for a few weeks, that you might become infertile and you may not be able to have kids. So they say if you ever plan on having kids, uh, have them before you go on your mission. Really, uh, it's really, really interesting. You know what? I think that we're going to end it right there. We're going to end it on infertility because everything else is too far away. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, this game is is kind of, to be honest, it's kind of boring, but I, it's cool that you got to explore this planet and it's just taking way too long. There's not enough stuff to explore, but hope you enjoyed me ranting about space. You're all very beautiful people. I'll see you guys next time.